Good morning and welcome to Nora's Drug Training Company. We're here this morning with Jane and Fred and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your puppy's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Jane is going to come home with her very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now she's sitting very nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Jane heal. Now at this point when you're on a walk with Jane, she has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you, not lunging out, not forging ahead, not chasing after squirrels and bunnies but walking even with your left leg and each time that you stop your feet, Jane has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So when you're walking and you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, she should be sitting and waiting for you to tell her what to do next. And the next command that we're gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. You can practice this command indoors as well as outdoors. You're going to start out at about 30 to 45 seconds and work slowly up to three minutes. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her as an additional distraction returning back to where they started at heel position and she waited to get another command from him and then he tells her to heal. So everything starts and stops at her shoulders. When you get back to her shoulders you have to tell her what you want her to do next. Each time that Fred stops his feet she sits without being told so when you're walking and you stop to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, she should be sitting quietly at your left. And practice your sit stays everywhere at all your entries and exits, you know, in the house, outside of the house. This time, instead of returning back to her, Fred is going to demonstrate the come on command. It's her name in come and she should come and sit. So with labs, they're infamous for jumping all over you. And we're teaching her that to get that praise that you're seeking, you have to come and sit. You can't put your front feet on us. She's a sweet little girl. She's very bright. You can only take this and go further with it. Fred leaves her in another sit stay. And when you call her, you use a happier voice, but don't get over the top. And she should come and sit right in front of your legs. If she gets distracted, you have your leash to kind of reel her in in the beginning. And you see her looking up at Fred for direction and for praise. The dogs and the trainers develop quite a bond while they're here. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you're going to take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. And this is another great exercise to practice in the house. It helps to develop focus, self-control, maturity. Start out at about a minute and work all the way up to five minutes. When Fred returns back to her, she's eating grass. He'll walk all the way around her back to heel position again. He stops at her shoulders and then he heals her out of that. And technically, I mean, even though she was somewhat distracted and eating grass, she was still down. She wasn't getting up, and that's what we're looking for. 
Practice it right in your living room while you're watching TV. Put your training equipment on, practice your downstairs. So always have her seated first, left open palm straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. Now Fred's correcting her for putting her nose on the ground because that often precedes them popping up out of that command. So you don't want her surfing the floor when she's in a down command. This time Fred will call her out of that command. He praises her on the way in to let her know she's doing a good job, but she only gets praised physically if she comes and sits. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. So with her seated, you're going to give her the stay command. You're going to walk out to the end of the, your leash and turn to face her. You're going to use your right hand to give the command, the only time that you use your right hand. Now she didn't go all the way down, so you heard Fred say no and repeat his command, and that's how you handle it when she doesn't do something correctly. Okay. Now we have demonstrated for you all of this cute little girl's formal on-leash obedience commands. She's just wonderful and delicious and we've enjoyed having her. And we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. Please keep us posted on your progress and we will see you soon.